I'm actually not out on a hike in the country. I'm checking on our septic system. They say an eco-friendly house can't be built in 150 days for $150,000, and I say it can. I'm Alan Smith. Join me as I push the limits with time, budget, and creativity with the Garden Home Challenge, exclusively on eHow Home. When you're in a rural environment and you don't have, well, some of the amenities that you get in a municipality like water and sewage, uh, you have to make amends for that. And so what we do is to account for it, what we were creating here is a septic field, which we put in over here. And the septic field ran about 75 feet long and there are four trenches that were dug about 10 feet apart. And that septic field is then connected to this, which is called the brain. And the reason it's called the brain is that it connects the septic field to the septic tank, which is just up here. And what this allows um, someone to do is to come in, if there's problems with the septic system, they can check it from this point. So it's, it's very important that this be installed as part of the system. And notice that we have very good fall here, meaning that it's higher up there. The house is high, the septic tank is just a bit lower, this is lower, and then the septic field is down there so gravity is going to help pull all of the waste down into the septic field. Now let's step up here and talk about the septic tank for just a moment. Alright so you come up here and you see this big concrete vault. Well this is actually uh, the septic tank if you will. Now this thing is concrete. It is uh, three inches thick. The walls are three inches thick and the top here that I'm standing on is five inches thick concrete. Now, what happens is the waste from the house comes into this tank, and then the waste breaks down, and then it goes into the field lines down there, and then it's distributed. Now, you have to have a permit to put one of these things in, so you need to consult with your local health department. If you look down inside here, you can see that it's filled up with water, which reminds me is that most of the waste that comes out of the house is, is, you know, it's like 98% water, certainly once it all breaks down. So there's very little solid material. And that's what gets flushed out into those lines. But when they set this thing in, this is really kind of interesting to me. Even though this is a thousand gallon concrete tank that's got three inch thick concrete walls and a five inch cap on it of solid concrete, you have to fill this thing with water. And you can look in here, you can see that they did fill it with water to weight it down. Because if you don't, what will happen is you can get a rain and this thing will actually float and come up out of the ground. <laughs> so it's like a battleship, it will float in water. So anyway, if you're finding these tips interesting, uh, make sure you subscribe to eHow Home and check in with us regularly.